I was about six years old, the same age as my mother was when my grandmother made the noodle soup. My mother, Verna Newport, was the seventh child of Russell Randolph Newport and L.V. Irene Newport. They lived on a farm just outside Wardsville. One of the ways you could get a future was join the army and since it was the Great War, um, uh, it was something that all boys sort of thought was an adventure. And it was decided that since my grandpa was going to war and he might not come back, that he should have a pen pal while he was away. And my grandmother, Alby, was just 14 at the time, and she was the only one of the family that could write. So she was designated as his pen pal. He'd been away for three years. He'd come back from the war minus one lung. But the rest of him was whole, and he... Uh, uh, was in love with Alvy by that time. So they agreed to get married and that's where my story begins because my mother was the first person to tell me the story about grandma's noodle soup. When my mother was a little girl, she maybe was just under the age of six, it would be about 1935, she got very Sick. Her throat was so sore she couldn't swallow food and she didn't eat for three days. So they wrapped her in a bed quilt and they put her on the day bed in the kitchen. So that morning my grandmother asked my mother what she would like to eat and her sore throated answer was noodle soup. My grandpa and grandma were really worried about their youngest child and it was a really tough time there wasn't a lot of money for extra food or even medicine. My grandpa and grandma decided to sacrifice one of the egg-laying chickens to make my mother the soup. And she walked to grandpa's woodshed and picked up the axe. Now, grandma had a special way of holding the chicken to keep it calm. She tucked it into the, the crook of her arm with, her lay, with the legs um, coming out underneath her elbow. And then with her left arm, she held the wing close to the body and her chest held the other wing close to the body and her hands were, uh, their fingers and thumb just, just circled lightly the base of the chicken's neck. With her other hand, she would stroke and pet the feathers and sometimes cover the chicken's eyes. And she would just walk quietly, clucking to it as to the, to the chopping stump. And then she would just gently circle with her other hand the chicken's neck just closer to the head. And with a quick twist, she would wring the chicken's neck. Then with another graceful movement, she would pick up the ax, and this time she'd be holding the chicken by its legs, and she would just, it, the, the wrung neck and the head would flop onto the chopping block, and she would cut it cleanly off. She would proceed to pluck the chicken's feathers until it was clean. She placed all of the pieces into a sauce pot and it would simmer all afternoon at least three hours while its, its meat became tender and it would almost fall off the bone. My mother loved the noodles. She slurped them up like spaghetti strands and they went down so easy you didn't have to chew them and they were really easy on her sore throat. Grandpa and Grandma were really relieved that um, she was feeling better and she said that that night at supper that this was the best noodle soup she had ever tasted. So the next time I went to my grandma's I asked her to make me the noodle soup and she did. That day I spent sitting on the day bed watching her make the broth and the uh, noodles exactly the way she made them for my mother that day. And the soup was the best noodle soup I ever tasted. Starts with a cup of flour and a fourth 
of a teaspoon of salt. You take a fork and you mix it around and you make a well with your fist. Grandma's recipe uses one egg. My recipe uses three. And so you gently beat the egg. You will have some of the egg left over and you pour it into the well and you might have to add just a little bit more flour and she would knead it out. Don't be afraid of the flour. And I have my knife and put them on a floured cookie sheet. And you would let them dry there for the whole afternoon while you made the rest of the chicken broth. 